I mean, it's definitely changed my life. It's gave me a, a much brighter outlook. I think I take school a whole lot more serious based on my experiences. To move up, I have to have qualifications, credentials, certifications. They want certified, agreed healthcare provider. 98.7 Chat Tech, where 98.7% of our students earn a career. On today's episode, we're going to look at the healthcare management program. Perhaps you want to work in healthcare, but you're what could be generously described as a little squeamish. Everybody isn't cut out for scrubs and rubber gloves. That rhymed, kind of. Let's find out what healthcare management is all about. Last, last rhyme, I promise. First, you need to know about the classes you need to take. My name is Christopher McClure. I'm currently enrolled at Chat Tech through the healthcare management program. Um, I work at a surgery center right now, just trying to help, you know, get my resume better and some experience in the healthcare field. Um, I, I really do love healthcare, um, helping people out, changing lives, things of that order. Chris was a little surprised when he needed to know the ins and outs of the business and the ins and outs of the body, literally. Something that like immediately came to my mind when you said that, there's two things. Number one, um, one of the classes, but it was like electronic medical record type deal. And so I was dealing with that for, you know, a whole semester. So when I went in for my job interview, I told them that I had been doing that. And luckily it was sort of the same software. Um, So I thought that was very cool that I took a class and was able to apply it immediately to a job. That was like, that was very nice. Um, The second thing would be is for healthcare management, I didn't really figure you would have to take anatomies, but through the anatomies, you you really grow like a sense of respect and urgency for the healthcare field because these people that are going for nurses and doctors and everything like you've been in the same boat as them. Like you've, you've done your time too. You did what you needed to become a healthcare professional. And so the, the anatomy was definitely my, it was like my favorite class because I love the material and learning about everything, but it was also, you know, it's a little bit more strenuous, uh, a little bit harder, but it's so worth it. Anything that's worth working hard for is usually worth it. I think that made sense. Um, so my name is Savita Saldivar. I, gradu- I graduated the healthcare management program in 2019. And I have since went on and gotten my undergrad in healthcare administration. And I'm currently in a master's program at Texas A&M for uh, business administration. Savita realized early on that the healthcare management program can lead to you working in almost any department in healthcare. I will tell you my story. My story is I'm a first generation college student. I grew up in New York, in the Bronx. Um, It's the roughest part of New York. We were poor. I grew up on Section 8 and welfare. And um, I had three other siblings that I had to take care of because my mom was out working three jobs, didn't know where dad was. And so um, my education kind of took a back seat to all of those things. And um, it wasn't until I got to the program, I made that decision consciously to go into the program and just say, you know what, no matter what, I'm just going to I'm just going to see this through. I was on track to being a nursing student, and I really just could not get past the chemistry course. Um, I took it two times, and I didn't do well at all, and so I decided to make a lateral move and go to the administrative side. There's definitely a ton of positions open, Um, and the range uh, you can do a lot of things with a healthcare management degree or healthcare administration degree. Um, it's not just, you know, front desk, back office type stuff. There are certain qualities that make someone successful in the healthcare management program, right, Tammy? I'm Tammy Harbin. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I received a degree in healthcare administration about seven years ago, so I teach healthcare uh, management. Physicians Practice Management here at CTC. My program is is specifically for students who want to be in healthcare, but maybe don't want patient contact. Maybe they want to be in healthcare in a healthcare field that's 
uh, recession proof um, and they're helping people, but maybe they don't want blood, body fluids, any of those elements in their life. So they may choose healthcare management to be on the opposite side of the patient care. Um, a lot of my students come in, they're nurses, medical assistants, uh, maybe even rad techs, radiography technologists that come in and want to run a practice, or it can be an, a, a seasoned, you know, healthcare professional that just wants to move up their chain at work. Maybe want to be in a management or a position of that. And speaking of moving up to the top. I'm Stephanie Puffer. I'm the Dean of Health Sciences. I've been at Chattahoochee Tech for about 13 years now. I started out as an adjunct faculty. I'm a physical therapist. I then was the clinical coordinator and an instructor in the physical therapist assistant program and later became the program director. And a year ago, I became the dean. Let's find out what the dean has to say. Their skill set is actually going to be quite broad. Um, They're going to know everything about how to manage a practice. And that can be a physician's office. It can be a dental office. They can work in insurance. They're going to know everything about managing financials, uh, making sure the office complies with rules, regulations, and laws that apply not only to businesses, but also to healthcare. Um, They are basically in charge of the practice. They plan, they coordinate all business activities of that healthcare provider. All right, all right. It's time to find out what everybody eventually wants to know. Let's talk dollars. I do a capstone every fall and every spring. And in the fall um, and spring, I do mock interviews. And my students are, because they do not have an internship, they come into a capstone classroom. Um, I always give them current job listings. I go on Indeed or Wellstar, Star, Piedmont, any of the facilities, and I pull up a practice manager's wage at that time. Let's just say a healthcare um, physician's practice manager can walk out of here at about 60 grand. Um, I also pull a healthcare administrator um, who is a bachelor's educated student, and they can go up to 100, 110. Um, The beauty of our program is that we have articulation agreements with many of the surrounding colleges. And in 16 months, our students can actually have their bachelor's in healthcare administration. So they go from an associate's of applied science and physician's practice management to a degree, a bachelor's degree in healthcare um, administration which again is about $50,000 a year more. Most of my students, and I will say most, do go on to get their bachelor's and they graduate within 16 months to two years. They're very well qualified through the college for um, articulation and for transfer to a four-year degree in healthcare. Healthcare management sounds like you can end up with a pretty plump bank account. Sounds like it pays more than voiceover work. Sounds like you probably won't be driving a 2004 Dodge Neon that needs brakes and has two different colored quarter panels like somebody I know. <clears throat> anyway, it's not all about the money. Like when you hear when you hear somebody like, oh, I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, you're like, okay, you know, smart guy, like whatever. But to be in the position where you work in the healthcare field, knowing they even started out, you know, the same as you. You know, you had to take your anatomy. You had to do all this other stuff, you know, accounting, whatever. Just it, it's like a mutual respect between you and a provider or, you know, anybody, because, you know, you've done what you needed to be there. And so have they. It, I mean, it's definitely changed my life. It's gave me a, a, a much brighter outlook um, because I see not only what the what the people have done in terms of the work they put in, but how they do it. And I was just. I, I had no clue how much was really into the healthcare field until I was in it firsthand. Chris found out firsthand that you need to get hands on. Thank you for giving me a hand. Sorry about that. Let's move on. Well, actually, on Friday, I interviewed for um, the revenue cycle department at a pain treatment facility. Um, I have put in a package to intern at NASA in their accounting department. Um, So fingers crossed, I hear back from them and they accept me. Um, There's just so many. You can go to HR. I mean, definitely finance. Literally every department. You can go to any department. If you're serious about um, education and progressing, 
in life, then you have to be determined and committed. You cannot have any success without one or the other. So I think if you're going to enter into the program, then definitely go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. To make it in healthcare management, you're going to need more than one skill. Uh, medical assisting is a little bit different in that they have administrative responsibilities and clinical responsibilities. So their education is going to be uh, focused in two different areas. One is going to be on ha- with hands-on skills, and the other is going to be in terms of administrative tasks, um, some clerical uh, but also they have to have a good understanding of the, the laws that govern healthcare, the rules that govern healthcare. Um, they need to be, they will come out as healthcare professionals. They're the person that defines a patient's experience at their physician's office as either being a positive one or a negative one. Their attitude and their skill level is crucial. Probably everyone has had that experience Um, and can relate to how meaningful that role is. Dr. Puffer perfectly summed up the qualities, process, and real-world results you can achieve through the healthcare management program. It's probably why she's the dean and a doctor, and I drive a multicolored 2004 Dodge Neon. You know, as a nurse, I could go home every day, and I knew at some point I made a difference. Even if it was a very small difference, even if it was just assisting someone to the bedside commode. I mean, I know that sounds minute, but that meant something to someone. I was recently a patient, and it's terrible right now. We're a third world country in healthcare right now. Um, I was in a hospital for 36 hours, had one water, and was assisted to the restroom twice. Um, So in saying that, as a nurse, I wanted to know that made a difference every day, and I feel like You know, the healthcare manager may not be in the front office. They may be in the back. They may be in between both, but they set the mood for that practice. It's like the, the the physician or the, or the healthcare uh, manager, they set the mood for the day or for the the patient. It's whoever we have sitting up front. um, When a patient walks in the door, that makes or breaks your visit. Um, I, I preach communication to my students. Communicate. If your physician's behind, communicate. If your physician is going to be late, let him know he's going to be late. He was sick or he was out all last week and he's having to make up double, you know, seeing double patients. I'm much more likely to sit there and with a smile on my face, of course, than than to be upset with the physician or the practice. You're never going to fuss at the doctor. You're going to fuss at those right in front of you. But I feel like anything we do that impacts someone's health, um, that's, that's the difference we make. I mean, we can... We can serve at McDonald's, you know, you want fries with that. But when you're doing something that's trying to help better someone's physical being, how they feel, um, that you care about them, I, I think that's an awesome experience. I, I really missed patient care. I missed it so much that I considered working two jobs, and I did for a year. But then I went back and I said, you know, these students are just like a patient. They're they're little sponges that, that need to know, you know, not just my experiences, but what I can offer them education-wise that'll make them a better healthcare provider. So I, I got to swap out a hat, you know, one nursing cap for an educator cap. And I, I still get the same satisfaction. And I tell them every day, communicate with your patients, communicate with your practice. You spend more time with your practice and your patients than you do your own family. So you know, that's, that's the big thing you can take away and at least feel good about your job. Here's the dean. She should probably have the final word about the healthcare management program, right? Right. So the students really get to know each other. The faculty really get to know the students and have that opportunity to develop those interpersonal relationships that allows them to have an environment that feels very safe for the students. At the same time, being able to push them out of their comfort zone. It's important to us that not only they be excellent with their skill set and their professionalism, but they're going to go out into the workforce being confident, not only because of the the knowledge and skill set, but also to be advocates for their patients and advocates for their community. I think that's a really big goal for us in health sciences. The medical assisting labs are set up to mimic an environment of a clinical lab, a clinical space, a medical um, practice office. 
uh, hospital settings. So when our students go to their externships, they are already have a comfort level with that equipment. And the medical assisting profession is crucial to the success of an office for some of the reasons I already mentioned, but that ability to change the experience of any patient walking through the door for better or worse. Healthcare management is an exciting and in-demand path into the healthcare field that could take you to places you never thought possible. This is the program that might just be right for you. Get online and check out the healthcare management program at Chattahoochee Tech. Find out everything you need to know at chattahoocheetech.edu.